Welcome to my channel. My name is Madeline. I'm the owner of Basswood Beauty, a small Etsy shop where I sell tinted lip balms and skincare and body care items. And on here, I just want to share my love for beauty and small business, just like what I'm doing with my business and the growth of it and all of that. Um, so today, um, I started last year actually with my, this was my first video on YouTube was my makeup inventory. And today I'm going to do another makeup inventory just to see where I'm at <clears throat> because I really enjoy project panning, um, which you can also find on my channel. And I think I want to do a little declutter with this as well. Um, this is my makeup collection plus what I keep on my vanity or my my bathroom sink so I'm going to put all of these like back into their categories and wash this refresh it and um, I'm gonna start with that and then we'll kind of go um, section by section like eye products lip um, palettes what what have you so that's how we're gonna uh, proceed <laughs> So this is empty. I'm going to wash it, clean it out really good, <clears throat> and start over. Um, I went back to my, um, watched my old, my old video from last year and kind of made a new tracker. And I have, um, so the, all these numbers and everything is from last year. Um, my total makeup products was 105. Um, including, you know, little miscellaneous like um, a freckle pen um, setting powder, just like things that I use miscellaneously. So I'm going to go through and count each item. And as I go through that, I will kind of talk you through some of um, some of them. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should have broke this down into a few videos, but I don't want it to be too boring. So I'm going to try to um, go through it quickly. Yeah, let's start with complexion and then we'll go through bronzer, blush, eye palettes, eyeshadow singles. We'll just go down this list and see what I have and see if I've added more or taken stuff out because I have done project pan and I have gotten rid of some items, but um, I know that I'm, I'm bringing new stuff in too sometimes, but um, yeah, so let's see where we're at. All right, I know that I categorize some of these things differently. Um, so it, it, the numbers might shift just a little bit because like this product for sure, I might have categorized it as, no, I think I categorized it as a corrector, but I used it more on my lips and my cheeks. So, so you know what I mean? Like some of the stuff I'm not sure, but this, I really don't reach for I I thought about decluttering it or um trying to pass it on um so I might set aside some products and see if some of my family members might want them if they work for them um this just didn't work very well on my lips cheeks or eyes and it's an under eye corrector and it's beautiful but it's just not quite the right color for me I don't know. I just don't know if I should keep it and see if I should reach for it or if I will reach for it. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really like under eye correctors. I just feel like it's a little too, ec too much extra time for me right now. Um, I'd rather have a concealer that, that works. That's like the right color. Um, same with this. So I actually added another corrector and this one is like, whoa, even worse than this color for me. Um, so these are might set to the side. I need like a basket. All right, I'm setting them aside in a basket for now. 
um, this for sure I know I want to pass on because it has a lot of oils in it. So I'm going to see if maybe my mom wants to try it. These are just some samples. Um, let's see, anything else I know right off the bat. This, I, I, this corrector I do like. It did work for me. Um, I, I just think it was a little too heavy for my under eyes, but I think I will hold on to this one. Um, so that would take me down to one corrector, actually. I only have two concealers. So I went from four to two. <laughs> um, and this one is actually like almost done. Like you barely get anything in this little tube. Um, I'm already like scraping the sides and I've only, I got this like in November or something, but I can already like see the bottom of the container. And um, yeah, so you don't get a whole lot in this little thing. And then this one is just the wrong color for me. This one's sort of ish the wrong color. It's not my favorite um, for under my eyes, but, and then this is the wrong color for my face, under my eyes, everything. But I found an amazing product that I love, this Sika Clearing BB Cream. Um, and light beige is like this kind of olive -y color. I don't know if it's olive, whatever this color is, it is great for mixing in with colors that don't don't fit. Like these two together make a perfect match for my skin. So this has been great. Um, and at first I picked up this one and these are only like 10 bucks or something. And the ingredients are really nice. Um, but this one's super yellow. I mean, the, the shade range on this brand is just horrendous. This one's just way too yellow for me. So I haven't really reached into this one much. Um, that's why it's like still in the box. Um, but I don't want to get rid of it because I do like this formula and I just figured, you know, I would mix these two together because this formula gives you a really nice finish um, that lasts all day long. All day long, but it looks natural really easy to work with um and so right now I'm mixing like these two together because this color is a little off for me so mix these together and it makes me love this even more because this one just helps it last all day and it takes the like tackiness of this down a little bit um all right so two concealers this is my daily go-to one right now so I'm gonna keep that there and then, so I have four, I wanna use this one up too. I need to put this in my project pan, but I have this in my project pan right now. <laughs> um, four and then five um, foundations. Still love this one, just not reaching for it right now. Haven't needed to. Um, so five foundations. Oh, my foundations definitely went up because I, I had three before, but I bought these two. And then I don't include these in foundations, but sometimes I use them as foundations. I got two of these. This is a universal tinted moisturizer. And then I also have the physical tinted moisturizer. Um, and so I've been using this one, but I prefer this one. Um, but uh, yeah, so so these are great. I love these, but these are more. I'll reach them, reach for them on days when, like I would wear this under make under foundation, but um, I'll also wear it like as a base, and then just go over with a little bit of concealer where I need it. Um, so. I don't know, but I don't count it as a foundation because it, it's just such a light tinted uh, SPF that um, it doesn't really give coverage like a foundation does. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not going to count it. It's more like skincare to me, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, this, 
I would not count as a foundation either. So maybe this is going to go in like bronzers and highlighters, I think, category. And then I have one powder because, you know what, I don't really like the um, like sifted powders. These are just like harder to reach for. And I just think that this is going to take me years and years to go through. So I'm trying not to buy any more powders. Okay, right off the bat, I know I did a color um, analysis last year, which was just like the, one of the best things I've ever done for myself. <laughs> And I just know that this is not a color for me because it has really noticeable gold glitter throughout it. And maybe it would be pretty as an eyeshadow, but I'm not going to use this as a blush. Um, this was a free sample. It's the NARS Orgasm that's like so incredibly famous. And so I was like, oh yeah, sample of that. I'll grab that. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is not my color palette at all. <laughs> So I think it might be really pretty for someone else. So I'm going to pass this one on. And then I kind of want to take these out of my collection and just maybe put them away for a little bit. Um, these are blushes that I made. I am not at this point prepared to go forward with making cosmetics and Again, I really don't like the loose powder makeup. Um, it just makes it hard for me to reach for. It's just a little bit more like time consuming. So I don't want to get rid of these because these are samples and formulas. You know, if I ever want to go back to the drawing board of trying to make products. <laughs> my cat was scratching at the door and I thought it was my daughter. <laughs> it was the cat scratching at the door. Um, so I think I'm going to take these out of my collection and then I just won't like feel guilty that I'm not reaching for them. And I already have a mixture of the two in this little container and I'm working on using that up right now. I think this is going to go in my project pan. Um, it just like seems to take forever to, well, it does take forever to use up makeup, but, um, and I just want to get this like little bulky container out of my life but um, I kind of swirl my brush in there and swirl it in the lid to disperse um, the blush on the brush. And I do love this formula. There's nothing wrong with it. It does everything I want it to do. Um, I'm just not prepared to go forward with trying to get this like in my shop and everything. So I'm gonna just take these out. So that takes a load off and <laughs> takes my collection way down. Um, so let's see, I have bronzer and highlights I, I put together and blushes I kept separate. This is a bronzer, kind of use it more as like a highlight and an eyeshadow when I reached for it, but I haven't been reaching for it lately. I think this is more of like a summer palette that I would, I would reach for. This has a highlight and a contour which I actually mix with my blushes like I'll mix it with this cream blush because this is so bright and I've shown that technique on my channel before but um, yeah I'll kind of mix like all three together the contour the blush and the highlight um, and I really like that combo and then I guess I would count this as a highlight hybrid um, bronzer because this is how I would use this because it's just a little too dark for my skin. I think it'll be really nice in the summertime. Um, and then this also has a highlight in it. Well, no, I would consider that just a shimmery blush. So six bronzer highlights, one contour still, and four blushes. Am I forgetting a blush? Oh yeah. Okay. I have depotted, <clears throat> excuse me, I have depotted quite a few of my eyeshadows and blushes and stuff from last year. So I actually have three blushes in here. And then I actually reach for eyeshadows as blushes too, but I'm not going to include them as blushes. 
but I do have three here. The flower one, the essence one, and then this is um, Jane Iredell blush. So I have three, four, five, six, seven blushes. So I'm down on my blushes as well. Gosh, I gotta go back and look and see what <laughs> what I used up. That's awesome, but I'm just like kind of totally forgetting what I have used up. So my collection is going down, which I thought it would because I I really concentrated on the project pan this year. So it shows that that does make a difference to your makeup collection as long as you're not just replacing and bringing more stuff in. Um, because a lot of these like. This one, I just don't reach for a lot. It's really deep and pigmented, um, but it is beautiful. I don't, I don't want to get rid of it. And then this one's really pretty. I think it'll be really pretty in the summer. It's not something I really reach for right now. Um, I don't want to get rid of this one either. It's just these two I just don't reach for often. These ones are just like every day and then because they're in this pa palette that's like just easy to reach for i have eyeshadows i have blushes i can kind of see like what um look i'm going for each day they're just easier to reach for um but that's it with this category So as I was saying, um, the glitters just always like scatter over my face. And now I do have a glitter primer that I haven't tried yet. So maybe that would work better. But I've even tried like putting the eyeshadows on first and then doing my base. And it's still like difficult to remove the glitters from like underneath my eyes and stuff. They just always kind of scatter. So that's the only thing I don't really enjoy about the ColourPop palettes but all of these mattes are absolutely gorgeous and this is just in my color story I just I just love it for every day um, this one I enjoy too um, I don't reach for it as much there's no mattes they're all kind of the same like satin formula but they are very pretty colors even though they are on the warm side I definitely prefer to reach for like the cooler tones, but um, it's really pretty. I just want to keep that one in my collection. And of course the Aether Beauty one that was in my project pan. I um, still really enjoy this palette as well. So yeah, these will all be staying. So that's nine eyeshadow palettes. Okay, eyeshadow singles should have increased but i think i'm going to declutter at least one for sure i know this one i want to declutter this is again another one that i was working on um but again i just am not crazy about loose loose products but this was a nice chocolatey brown but i'm just gonna put that again away in storage as a reference if i ever go back to trying to make my own eyeshadows <laughs> Um, so that one will just get put away. I know for sure I want to keep this one. I do reach for this for glitter on my girls and it's just beautiful glitter eyeshadow. Um, I picked this one up last year um, for a video and I enjoy this color. So I'm going to keep that. Nice cool. Um, this one, I might pass this one on. I don't know it is drying out it is old um, let's see if it even would like still work I think it's just well no I mean get pretty good payoff uh, my other ones have dried off dried out excuse me um, but yeah I did enjoy this for a long time but I'm kind of just not reaching for it anymore I think just because it's quite on the warmer side unsure of this one um, and then all of these are little loose eyeshadows um, I wanted to hold on to these because this is a purple this is a fun green and then this is just like a, a neutral um, champagne color 
So, I don't know. I just feel like these could come in handy for something um, with my girls or just uh, my sister actually borrowed these two. I don't know if she used them, but she did borrow them. I just think they're handy to have around. So I kind of want to keep those. And then in here I have three Moody Sisters I shows. No, no, I'm sorry. This one, she has since actually um, closed her shop. But this is a beautiful um, taupey color. Uh, all of these I want to keep. I actually love this one for liner. Um, yeah, I just, I do like their formula. Like this one I use for a blush and an eyeshadow. Um, love it. Okay, 19 all together, which is up, of course, but that makes sense. I had 14 last year, but these were depotted from palettes, so that makes total sense that I added in a bunch more. Um, and I also bought this one. Um, so yeah, I wish I could fit these in here. Maybe I could fit all this in here. I'm not sure. I'll just see if I can do that. Right, I was able to get them all in here very nicely, but this this got like bent a little bit and it just doesn't quite magnetic close as nicely as it used to. So maybe I'll have to try to like bend this back and see if I can get it to close. Um, but if I have it in my everyday thing, it should be fine. But that's kind of nice that all of my singles fit and my blushes fit in one. And then when I go to um, maybe work on, this needs cleaned, but my eyeshadow project pan, I could use this if I pull out any singles. So um, that is it for the eyeshadow singles. Let's move on. All right, so what we've got here are a few categories of lip products because that's what I did last time. I divided them into balms, glosses, lipsticks, and lip pencils. So the lip pencils have actually stayed exactly the same, four, and I still have four. I just don't reach for lip pencils. I know that they're like such a popular item in the makeup world. I feel like everyone uses lip pencils, but it's just not something I reach for. I'm a lip balm, tinted lip balm girl. Um, but I do enjoy having them. Um, this is the one that I reach for the most, at least in the winter time. This Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. Um, and I really like it. It is retractable. It's not a pencil. Um, but it just it is a very pretty color and it's very creamy. Um, and I've actually used it as an eyeliner as well. Um, so I do really enjoy that one. I'm not planning on getting rid of any of these. I think I'll just hold on to them. Even though this one is orangey and doesn't really work for me. I didn't really like it. Um, see the difference there? It's just not like a color I reach for, but I don't think I'll get rid of it at this point. I think I'll hold on to all of these and not worry about it. <laughs> um, lipsticks. Let's see. I had seven. I don't know what I counted. I, I'm going to have to go and look back and rewatch the video again and see like, what? What did I count? Because I only have five here. So I got rid of two. I'm not sure. Maybe I, maybe I you know, passed them on or something, but, um, because a lot of these, I, I'm, again, don't reach for lipstick. I forgot how to open this one. This is just a color I don't reach for. Um, 
I don't know, I just don't reach for lipstick. I have a really hard time, so I don't know if I should. And then this one's just not really... Oh, it's so orange. And this is like for your lips and your cheeks and your eyes. Um, Jason Wu. Um, I just think that this is one I want to try to pass on. See if anyone wants it. Um, maybe this one too. Because I just know I'm not going to reach for them. Like, I'm just not a lipstick girl. So, um, now this... This one I kind of want to keep because it's it's called the 90s lip color. I don't know. It's just, <clears throat> it's a little messed up here. But it is a color I kind of want to have in my arsenal because it's just that really pretty deep color. But, yeah, I got a little, got a little janky there. Um, and I have two of these, actually. I have, you know what, I have a whole bunch of lip products in my car. <laughs> I totally forgot about. I probably have like four in my between my purse and my car. Lip balms, and I know I have one of um, Sarah Love's makeup lipsticks. And these I do enjoy um, because it's more of like a balmy formula. So these ones I do reach for. Um, and then this is like a multi stick, and I did like this on the lips. Um, and I really enjoy it on the cheeks, but. You could also use it as like a lip liner because it has it also has a sharpener <clears throat> attached to it but I, I just really enjoyed this color so this I don't know if they still sell this I got it at the dollar store it is the scribble stick in tickle me pink so these I know that I'll use these don't think I'll use um, but I know I have more lip products so I'm gonna have to go and gather all those up before I count the final count <laughs> um, lip glosses this one is basically done so I'm not gonna count this one <clears throat> that's in my project pan um, and then all of these I enjoy I definitely enjoy these two and they're very different colors. Um, this one's more a summery one that I reach for in the summer. This one's more fall winter. This one I haven't reached for as much. I think I just don't like the squeezy tube. And then it was it did have a lot of like glitter in it. Um, but it's it's a nice formula, it's a nice color. Okay, these are the products that I had in my car and my purse. Um I have another Sarah Loves Makeup Lipstick that I think I'm going to put in like my everyday. This one I really, really like. I like it more than the other one. And I think it's like something that I could easily like finish. Maybe put in my project pan. Um, these two e.l.f. products. This is their like glossy, so I'll put it like glossy lip stain. Um... I really enjoy the stain and the color, even though it doesn't like stay very long. This is not doing it justice. This like pink color on the doe foot is more the color of the stain. That that's like the gloss topper. Um, it tastes awful. Don't get this in your mouth. <laughs> it's just it's horrible. So I reached for it a lot, but then I was like, man, I just. I cannot stand this like chemical taste in my mouth so but I do enjoy it so you could just like get it to stain your lips and then wipe it off so you're not getting that taste in your mouth um, but I think it's something I need to put in my makeup counter not my purse because it's like I don't want to put it or in my car I put it on in the car and then not have the time to wipe it off because you're driving or whatever and getting that taste in my mouth. So I'm gonna add that to the glosses. Then I always wanted to try one of these e.l.f. Um, this is in lovely, let's see, Hydrating Core Lip Shines. This to me is definitely more of a lipstick, not a balm, just because of like the pigment, the color pigment. And on me, it looks like a red, I just, 
I'm not crazy about it. I'm really not crazy about this color. I feel like maybe that this is something I should see if someone else wants. Because it's just not doing it for me at all. I think I'm going to set that to the side. Um, and then I have two of my lip balms that I reach for all the time. One in my purse, one in my car that I can easily grab. Um, Rosé All Day. Which is like my everyday neutral color. And then um, Elderberry, which is like one of my most popular colors. You just gotta get them warmed up on your lips. This one was in the car, so it's really cold. Um, so I love those. Reach for those all the time. Super nourishing. So it looks like I have six balms. And I had eight last year. Glosses, I have four. I had four last year, but I think they've just kind of like, you know, this one was an additional, but then this one's leaving. So, and then I'm going to do four lipsticks. And I had seven lipsticks last year. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, I'm passing on two. And I'm passing on that e.l.f. one as well. So, well, we'll see if they get passed on or not. If not, if nobody wants them, I might bring them back into my collection. And, because I don't necessarily want to just throw them away. But they might just go into, like, makeup purgatory or something like that. Because looking at them kind of makes me depressed. <laughs> um, all right, let's move on to eye products. Yay, last, pro last uh, category. I'm so excited to be wrapping this up. Okay, um, I have some miscellaneous things in here that I know like I only have one of, but anyways, I'm gonna categorize these and then we'll go through each one. All right, with eye products, and right off the bat, I don't think I am getting rid of anything. Um, and right off the bat, I know I'm keeping all of these same moi eyeliners. Um, these are amazing, and I don't know if you can get them anymore. Um, you do need a certain eye pencil sharpener that fits them, but once you, they just set down. You have a little bit of time to work with them, but then they set down. And so they are incredible. And my daughter loves just having me like draw little pictures on her face and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, these, these are incredible. I'm not going to get rid of these. So this makes my eyeliner, um, category really high. Um, but I don't mind because these are so amazing. Um, and then, you know what, this is actually an eyeshadow stick, but I use it mostly as an eyeliner, and I think that's why I just threw it in here. I didn't put it with the the eyeshadow singles. I do use it as an eyeshadow, but I use it as an eyeliner more. So I'm just going to count this as an eyeliner, and then this eyeliner as well I still really like. It's like a olive -y color. Um, that's just really fun. I don't reach for it a lot, but it's just fun to have on hand. So I definitely want to keep those. This one, did I pick this up last year? This is a ColourPop, um, I'm sorry, it won't focus, there we go, uh, gel liner. And that is a color that's really good for your um, waterline, but, sorry, it is broken. And very difficult to use. I don't even know how much more is in there. So I don't reach for this often, but I do like to have it on hand. So I don't want to get rid, rid of that. This is a liquid eyeliner that is really good if you want to get that. Cat eye effect. Don't reach for it a lot, but it is 
um, just handy to have on hand. So I don't want to get rid of any of those. So that makes my eyeliner category 13. So that is down two from last year. I wonder if I, again, like gave some away or something like that because I don't remember using up eyeliners. But um, then some products that I have that are just like really, you know, like I only have one freckle pen. Don't reach for it a whole lot. This should probably actually go in my complexion um, category. But this ColourPop freckle pen is great. Love this. It's just like that and it's just really natural looking but I just don't reach for it a whole lot wish I did reach for it more probably in the summertime <laughs> alright so I have two eyeshadow primers this one I've had four years but I just still have so much in there and I think I just had it for so long because it's not something I reach for all the time but if I really want my eyeshadow to last I definitely do reach for it so I'm just gonna hold on to that. And then I got this hard candy one. I actually don't even remember buying it, but I thought maybe I would try it with my ColourPop eyeshadows that, um, you know, the glitter gets everywhere. I haven't even tried it yet. So um, I think I'll put this in my everyday makeup to remember to use it. So I have two eyeshadow primers now, whereas, um, Oh, you know what? Last year I had three. So I think I had an eyeshadow like color that was a primer as well, I think. Um, and then I have four um, brow products. And last year I had four as well. Okay, I thought I got rid of one. Um, this is the half caked eyeshadow or like pencil and then this is their um like brush brow brush i don't really like either one of these this one just has too much product on it to like wipe it off so i don't reach for this and then this one i do reach for sometimes when i want to try to have a more perfected brow but um yeah neither of these i just keep them because i have them and if i ever need them i have them <laughs> And then this one too is the Stroke of Brow. I used feathering pen. I used this a lot for a while. And I've just set it aside. I should try to use it again. It just, you know, takes a little extra time. So all of those are more for like, maybe if I'm trying to get a perfected brow for like an event or something. This is my go-to every day, um, just for color and placement of the brows for the day and it just seems to last forever. It does have little fibers in it, but um, I I just really, really enjoy it. It doesn't like have too much product on the wand. It's just perfect for every day. And it's a great color for my brows. Um, so brows was for last year and is for this year. Mascaras, I was hoping we were gonna go down, but we did not I don't believe <laughs> last year I had six and I have six again actually this is not a mascara though but I do use it as a mascara um, and then this is a primer so this I'll use on no makeup makeup days but I use this every night on my brows and my lashes and I'll use it on no makeup makeup days if I just want to get my brows in place but this is just a serum and it's just clear so, but I'm going to count it as a mascara, I guess. And then this is um, a primer. And I do feel like this helps the mascara come off easier. And if I let it dry long enough, it um, does help create volume as well. And I was going to say I've used it with all of the... Oh, I'm missing a mascara. Where is the one I used today? Oh, that's bizarre. I have that e.l.f. roller lash, but it's not here. Let me see if I can find it. 
Okay, it fell like way behind everything. Um, so I have the elf lash and roll in the brown. I have the clean CoverGirl clean in brown. This one's a little more brown. This one's a little darker. Um, but I love these for every day. This one I actually pulled out of my car. I have like just a very, very, I have like a lip gloss and a blush. And I had a foundation in there for um, just like if I'm, if I need to put makeup on last minute or something. But lately I've just been grabbing a little like clear bag and putting a few things in there if I need to do my makeup in the car. So I pulled this out and I just wanted to try it again um, and I'm really enjoying it. This one, <laughs> I love their mascara, but this one, I loved the mini, but this larger size, oh my gosh, so like the stopper pulls nothing off the wand. Um, it's just so clumpy and full of product that it just makes it hard for me to want to reach for this. But it does remove like a dream and I'm not going to get rid of it. This one. I really enjoyed in the beginning um, and then I kind of set it aside I wasn't enjoying it as much I don't really remember why um, I think it was difficult to remove it kind of removes like a um, tubing mascara excuse me it kind of removes like a tubing mascara but um, it's I don't think it is a tubing mascara so I didn't like how it removed but Maybe I'll try it with the primer and see how that goes. Just need to, but it, it was very pretty on the lashes. Um, so I'm not going to get rid of any of these. I I, I do enjoy most of them, um, and I know that eventually I will reach for them and use them up. So I'm going to count that as seven mascaras, even though technically these two aren't mascaras, but. <laughs> So I'm up one from last year. So let's take a total count of everything that I have. I wonder if I'm actually more products than last year. Total. I don't know. Let's add it all up. Okay. So I think the consensus is project panning works. If you want to get your makeup collection down because I went from 105 to 97. I don't know how because my eyeshadow singles went up and my eyeshadow palettes went down. Um, but I think there was some things in there that like I may have decluttered brought back in. Um, you know, there were just some like weird things like that. But anyways, project painting works. I did get through some items. I was more mindful of what I bought. I wanted to do a replacement only no buy this year um, as far as makeup goes, but I don't know. I'm not like holding myself super strongly to that. We'll see. Um, cause I feel like there's a few items missing in my collection, um, that would help make some of my other, other products work better. Um, a like illuminating primer, um, that I could like mix in with my foundations, things like that. But then I also know that that will change in the summer because I do have some illuminating products that would work in the summer but don't work for me right now. So <laughs> I did just order one, but it's also a skincare product. So I don't know that I will, I'll have to see how it works. I don't know if that will really be considered a makeup item. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of show you the aftermath <laughs> of everything here. Um, I need to clean my bathroom. So <laughs> forgive the mess. But all of that is going to go in like my daily makeup or purse. Um, and then this is looking pretty, pretty um, clean and organized. And it's not like overwhelming, I don't think at all. I'm excited to do the project eyeshadow panning 
because I am hoping it'll help me use like each palette more. And then over here, <laughs> um, sorry, this is my charging cord. Um, I have the products that I'm going to try to pass on or just per put in purgatory or um, again, those items there are mine that I'm going to just um, set aside if I ever want to go back to trying to make my own makeup. So, um, so yeah, that is everything. Sorry to show you my disgusting bathroom, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that this gave you some inspiration, some maybe direction with your makeup collection and um, you know, that we don't have to have massive, massive collection. Um, I don't know. Mine could be, you know, massive to you or very piddly to you, <laughs> depending on your collection. So it's all very personal. Um, but, but yeah, I do want to have a more, um, a collection that I, I just, where I love everything and I've like found the best of the best, but I know that you know, that doesn't happen very easily, easily, especially if you want to try new things. So um, I think it'll just be an ongoing thing that I'll always be working on. But I am so excited to see that project painting does help in just, um, you know, minimizing. I, I feel a little bit better. I'm like, I know what I have now. And I don't know, I'm excited to move forward this year with project panning, eyeshadow panning, and just being more mindful of what I have and doing this shows me exactly what I have and what I like to use in summer, what I like to use in the winter, um, products that I might have on hand just for special events. Um, you know, it's not always bad to have, have things that you don't reach for consistently but that you know that there's a purpose for them when you need them. Anyways, I will stop rambling. Thank you again so much for watching and enjoy your day. Bye.